Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anupam Kesri, Assistant Professor at Center for Advanced Studies, AKT Lucknow. I am one of the contributor of this research work. Other contributors are Professor Pro Alexander Simeone from Santa University, China and a senior professor, Professor M. K. Tiwari from IT Kharagpur, India. The research deals with the part decomposition and assembling approach concerning with the additive manufacturing products. Particularly, we focus to develop a computational framework for part decomposition and the framework helps to decide the cutting planes for decomposition so that printing time and the total processing time of the products can be reduced. The presentation consists of these six given outlines. First of all, topic is introduced briefly and then the power decomposition and assembling approach for additive manufacturing is demonstrated and the benefits are explained. Some slides focus to demonstrate proposed computational framework and the case studies, results and discussions and the conclusions are shown in the later slides. Well, we all know that the additive manufacturing is highlighted since it allows the manufacturing of complex part geometry as a single object, regardless of any geometrical complexity. In contrast, there is another approach called part decomposition and assembling approach for additive manufacturing, which aims to partition an original object into several pieces. And the partition part are assembled back into the original set. So, there are two additional operations required here. One is appropriate part decomposition and then post assembly operation. But a question arises here whether manufacturing a consolidated object is always better than the assembling approach? Answer comes no. There are many cases where assembling approach can work better. For example, additive manufacturing of medium size product. Here, as the size of product increases, height of product increases, uh, the number of printing layer increases drastically and the same time it leads to increase build up time of the object. So here part decomposition and assembling approach can create many interesting options to reduce build time of the product or total processing time of the product even if some post assembling uh, operation would be required to do. Look at the figure here. In the left side of the figure, consolidated part geometry of a stool chair is shown and uh, decomposed part with its printing arrangement is shown in the right side of the figure. We can clearly observe here the printing height is reduced significantly when uh, decomposed part approach is followed. Uh, surely some interlocking arrangement design features would be required to create at the connecting surfaces but as additive manufacturing is concerned building of these features are not a big deal. Apart from the reduction of processing time there are other, other advantages like uh, reduction of support structure and uh, adjustment of part printing in limited printing space Product uh, packing becomes easier because the after decomposition part uh, can accommodate in a lesser uh, packing volume and many a times it can observe, it can provide better surface experience because the better part orientation can be achieved in uh, limited printing space. In part decomposition and assembling approach, Finding out part separating plane or cutting planes is an important issue. This figure explains the classification of cutting methods so that the proper cutting plane orientation and location can be obtained. Basically, cutting methods are of two types, free cut cutting and horizontal cut. Horizontal cut can be divided in further into three classes where the cutting happening at equal height, cutting happening at the safe variation region, cutting happening at the specific cross-section regions. Basically, in this research work, we have proposed a computational framework for the part separation. Uh, 
in this slide flow diagram of the proposed computation framework is shown cases like when a new cad geometry arrives for the printing uh, in next step all the possible cutting planes are allocated whether through the cutting methodology or through recommendation of experienced operators and assembling possibilities out of them a set of cutting planes are are selected uh, which can reduce total processing time uh, out of this framework a optimum set of cutting cross section is obtained which can uh, perform the part separation and can give uh, minimum total processing time there are several assumptions associated with this framework like uh, all the parts and components are placed vertically only and the cutting planes will be horizontal only and building time for the support structure is not considered assembling time is proportional to the sum of the cross section areas which are going to be joined in post assembling operation here a schematic representation of laser based bed fusion process is shown we can see main tank containing powder material is responsible to spread the thin layer of the material for the printing and the laser beam supplies energy to center the material in blue printing zone after printing a layer initial plate goes down to leave place for the next layer so these tasks are performed one by one for all the layers uh, and there are six major parameters to estimate build time those parameters are layer thickness hatching distance laser diameter scanning speed number of uh, number of laser head and recording time last parameter assembling rate decide the assembling speed which is useful for calculating assembling time the mathematics involved to calculate uh, total processing time build time and assembling time is briefly explained here a uh, total processing time is the summation of build time and assembling time build time is calculated by summing up the uh, time is spent in five different activities those activities are machine preparation time time for layer spreading time for product printing time for support printing time for processing in activities uh, we focus here to calculate time for layer spreading and time for product printing layer spreading time highly depends on the uh, separate part having the maximum height and the uh, product printing time includes time for volume printing and time for the surface printing and about the assembling uh, time it uh, directly proportional to the summation of cross section area which are going to be connected through assembling operation all the notations and their descriptions are shown in right side table the proposed computational framework for the part separation Uh, is implemented for three different uh, shape geometries uh, these geometries are tabulated here and the major geometrical parameters like volume area uh, height length and width are also tabulated for the reference this slide uh, shows few more details of uh, object 1 and object 2 object one is named as general assembly object and object two is layered coin structure object one is having five uh, probable cutting planes whereas object two is having nine probable cutting planes and uh, front view and left view of both the objects are shown with the dimension object one is a simple example of a general manufacturing assembly wherein uh, free cut specific region based cut and shape variance based cut can be easily realized object 2 is an example of symbolic on an souvenir object wherein connection cross section area per cut is significantly high object 3 is a missile shape structure having seven probable cutting planes and its front view and left view with the dimension is shown here object 3 is a real industrial product set for which additive manufacturing utilities are promoted 
This step includes many fine geometrical features as well. Moreover, uh, by defining the probable cutting planes, cutting to equal height idea is partially utilized here. Let's have a look over the obtained results from uh, uh, from computation framework. The results are shown in form of minimum uh, processing time, time is spent in layer spreading, time is spent in part printing, maximum printing height, and optimal set of cutting planes for all three objects. As we can see in the figure of object one, uh, probable cutting planes are five, but only three cutting planes are selected for the part separation. Similarly, in object two, three planes are selected and in object three uh, out of seven, six are selected. Results are also analyzed in form of maximum and minimum range of total processing time, build time and uh, assembling time. It is found that the uh, time is spent in layer, layer is spreading affects a lot to the total processing time. Also some effect goes from the assembling time too. We found that the, there is a huge gap between maximum and minimum range of to the total processing time for all three objects. Look at a result figure here where total processing time for both the approaches are compared. It is found that the power decomposition and assembling approach reduce total, total processing time for all three objects. 17%, 9.5% and 36% reductions are seen for uh, object 1, 2 and 3 respectively. The concluding remarks are as such that significant reduction in total processing time are found for different shape and geometry objects. Proper decomposition of part can uh, enable the additive manufacturing of medium sized product in limited building space. Less or negligible support structure is needed because the maximum height of the product is reduced by separating the part into number of pieces. Proper preparation to deal with the requirement at joining cross sections can enhance the product's customability, packing and folding features. Part decomposition and assembling approach can promote the hybrid use of conventional part and additive manufacturing part to create a final product. In future, the part orientations, surface finish, designing of interlocking patterns, and assembling issues will attract the researchers' attention. Finally, thanks to the CIRP e-group for providing such a wonderful platform to share research outcomes with the leading research community. And also thanks to everyone for listening.